Are you confused by ionic compounds? Have no fear. My name is Leia Fish from LeahFirstSci.com, where you can find hundreds of tutorial videos, practice material, as well as information regarding my online tutoring services. And in this video series, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about ionic compounds, including what they are, how they form, how they bond, and even how to name them. Ionic compounds play a very large role in general chemistry, so you have to make sure you're very comfortable with the concept of the ion, including how it forms, how ionic compounds come together, how you find the charges when they bond, how to calculate their numbers, and of course how to name ionic compounds. Luckily, that is exactly what we will cover in this tutorial series. But first, what is an ion? Let's start with a long-winded and technical definition. An ion is an atom or group of bound atoms that are charged due to the gain or loss of electrons. Now this is something you might want to put on your test paper, but between you and me, let's focus on something simple. An ion is simply something that is charged, and that means I can have a positively charged ion or a negatively charged ion. When an atom has too few electrons, think of it as missing that negative, and therefore it is a cation or a positive ion. The way I like to remember the cation is to envision the T in the word as an actual plus sign, and that tells you the charge. An anion, on the other hand, is something that has extra electrons, and since it has extra of that negative particle, it's going to have a negative charge. And the way you can remember this is to recognize that it starts with an, which means without. Think of words, you know, like anemic or anhydrous. The an means without, and that means it's negative. One more concept to discuss before we move on, and that's the difference between a monoatomic ion and polyatomic ion. But once again, we can break down the words and see what it refers to. Monoatomic has the words mono and atom, where mono means one and atom is obviously the element in question. This is an ion that is simply made of one atom, for example, a sodium ion or a chloride ion. The other type of ion is a polyatomic ion, and this comes from the word poly, which means many, and again, atom or elements. A polyatomic ion is simply a molecule made of atoms bound together, but the entire molecule has gained or lost an electron and therefore has a charge. Some examples of polyatomic ions include hydronium, which is H3O+, or acetate, which can be written as CH3CO2-. Be sure to join me in part two of this series, where I will break down exactly how ions gain or lose their electrons and how you can find the charge by looking at the periodic table. So what do you think? Do you feel confident enough to conquer these chemistry topics on your own? Thing is, this short video was just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to understand in chemistry which cannot be taught in just five to ten minutes. But luckily, I have prepared an exclusive video training that I am offering as a free gift to you. Trust me, if you're serious about chemistry, you can't miss this one. To claim your free gift, visit layerforsci.com slash chemistry gift. As a subscriber, you will receive exclusive email updates, including information regarding new videos, study tips, resources, and more. The URL again, layerforsci.com slash chemistry gift, all one word. A quick favor, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. If you know anyone else struggling with this information, share it with them too. They'll thank you for it. I'd love to hear from you, so please leave a comment below and let me know what you liked most about this video and, of course, if you have any questions. You can also say hi on Facebook by visiting me at facebook.com slash layerforsci. Psst, still here. Don't forget to subscribe.